Um, a very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and my brothers, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, my name is Hope, um, and my YouTube channel is A Burning Bush. On this channel, we'll talk about, the, about uh, how to be prepared as the bride of Christ. And, uh, and also we discuss about, uh, um, yeah, how to, uh, how to, yeah, for example, how to be prepared as the bride of Christ. Because this channel, that's all, uh, is, this channel is about the preparation of the bride of Christ. But there's a topic, there's a, a topic the Lord has given, uh, um, given to me, a topic I need to focus, you know. If you're, maybe you're new on this channel. I've been talking about repentance. God is calling us to repentance. God is calling us, uh, the revival that is coming is a revival of holiness, a revival of purity, a revival of righteousness. That is what is coming. So before that can take place, the revival starts individually with us. And before that can start, you know, we need to cry out to God for repentance wheresoever we have sinned, personally, individually, as a believer, even as a nation, because a terrible shaking is coming. A terrible shaking is going to shake this world. The world has never seen a terrible shaking. God is going to shake everything shakeable. A terrible shaking is coming. So that is why God is preparing his children to, you know, to cry out to him in repentance. The windows of heaven is open to receive your cry, to receive your, 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 your cry of um, uh, is it a cry? Your broken, a broken, your broken spirit and a contract heart, which is repentance, to cry out to Him. Maybe you're not born again as well. Uh, you, you cry out to God for mercy, for what you have done, the sins you have committed, the iniquity. God is not angry with you. He's angry with your sins, but not with you. But if you come sincerely, all He needs from you is honesty and sincerity. And as when you come and confess that sin, you be, you be the blood of Jesus will cleanse you as if you've never sinned before. God is calling us to repentance. Both believers, because the children, because the judgment starts in the house of God. But for those who are not born again, it's a time to cry out. Don't relate. Don't say, oh, you know, there's no, just I would encourage you. I would even, if all I can, I pray that the word that is coming out of me will touch you, pierce your soul, that will cry out to God for repentance. Uh, that uh, you come as a sinner. Don't just come, oh, because a shaking is coming. No, you need to come broken. A broken spirit, a contract heart. A sinner who needs salvation. A sinner who is tired of his sin or her sin. A sinner who has said no. They have not gained anything. All these years I've lived this type of uh, lifestyle. Or, or all these years I've, uh, you know, I've been trying to make it on my own. I've been trying to, you know, to manage my life. To walk it, you know, thinking there's no God. I have seen I cannot go further because all I do is confusion. You need Christ. Cry out to him. And that is what God is calling us to repentance. A terrible shaking is coming. A terrible shaking is coming. A terrible judgment on those wicked power thrones, kingdoms. God is going to shake them. Shake whatever is shakeable that have been opposing to his, uh, his kingdom, that have been opposing to his children. God is going to shake those kingdoms, those demonic kingdoms, those power that are oppressing his children. God is going to shake, break those, shake everything shakeable. If you're part of those who are into all kinds of evil, occultism, witchcraft, marine, all kinds of marine worship, I do that put people under subjection or bondage for years, I would uh, encourage you that to repent. <laughs> run, repent, run to Christ, repent, cry out to him. He loves you. But that what you have done is wickedness. God is calling you to, to repent from it. But a shaking, a terrible shaking is coming. But it's not my topic today. I just want to, you know, to, to say that. Uh, before I start, I would like to start with a song. And uh, yeah, the song of the blood of Jesus, the, the, the only thing that we can gain interest through to the Lord is through the blood. He said we should come boldly. We should come boldly to the throne of grace. How do we come boldly? Through the blood of Jesus. And that, that is why I like singing songs of the blood. I love the blood. I, lo I like talking about the blood of Jesus because in that blood, that's the power that translate, translated us from the kingdom of darkness into his marvelous kingdom. And I would like to start with that song in Jesus' name. Amen. I enter to holy of holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to holy of holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only, Lord. I enter to honor 
I am. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor. I am. Lord, I worship you. Lord Jesus, I worship you. For your name is holy. Your name is holy, Lord. For your name is holy. Your name is holy, Lord. Amen. Oh, draw me, Lord. Lord Jesus, draw me, Lord. And I run, and I run after you. Oh, draws, Lord, Lord Jesus, draws, Lord, and we run, and we run after you. Ndi mozi di neligwe. Hanabo, hallelujah. Hanabo, hallelujah. Jehovah, Mary, wo, ekwensu. Ndi mozi di neligwe. Hanabo, no, hallelujah. Hanabo, hallelujah. Jehovah, Mary, wo. Agame soro ndi mozi. Ne nyege kele Agame soro ndi mozi Na jagima Ni mototo Ni mabali Na mdumnile Ewo Agame soro ndi mozi Ne nyege kele Agame soro ndi mozi Na jagima Jesus Agame soro ndi mozi Ne nyege kele Ni mendo nile, nendo nile, ne ben ne je ne ben na lona. Aga me soron di mozi, ne nyege kele. No, the meaning of this song is so I will join the angels to praise, to worship you, to sing honor, to praise, to honor you in my, my the all the days of my life. I will join the angels. I'll be in the company of angels, praising, singing, uh, singing praises unto your mighty and your holy name. All the days of my life. That is the song. God bless you as you listen to this video. And I want to pray before I start this, uh, this topic. Father, in the mighty, gracious, everlasting name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. I bless your mighty name. Lord, I pray. Take all of me, Lord. I yield myself to you as I talk about this topic. It's a holy topic. It's a topic you are you're calling your children the purpose you created us for. The purpose you have placed us, made us born, born again. It's about this topic I'm about to go into. And uh, I pray, Lord Jesus, as you as I go into this topic, that you touch your people, Lord. You know those who you have, who this video is meant for. Lord, I pray that we'll encounter them, that you reveal yourself to them, the totality of it. I yield myself to you. I yield my, my tongue, every word. Let it praise you, Lord. Lord, I yield everything in me. And let the flesh die. Let the Holy Spirit of God have his way. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, my topic today is, uh, you know, from uh, coming, uh, that is uh, becoming the praise of his glory. Becoming, that is why the Lord Jesus, we, are, we got saved. Becoming, to, beco to become the praise of the glory of God. That is the purpose we got born again, is to become the praise of, uh, the praise of the glory of God. Uh, to become the praise of the glory of God. And, uh, you know, the Lord it was the intention of God when God created us. You know, to, you know, to uh, created us, uh, created Adam. Adam and Eve. Adam, if, when he created male and female, as Adam, he, to be, to be uh, in his image, in his likeness, made he, made he, made he them. Be to be, to become the glory, the praise of his glory. That was the purpose he, the Lord God created Adam. Adam and Eve, to be the, the carrier, to be the carrier of his glory, to be the praise of his glory, 
That was why they were created. And, uh, and then that is why the Lord is now, he said, becoming the praise. My topic is becoming the praise of the glory of God. Becoming the praise. You as a person, you as a child of God, to, that you become, how to become the praise. You're not yet, but you should become. How? Becoming it is a continuous uh, uh, doing. Becoming the praise of God. Um, 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 that is, I want to go to Genesis chapter 5, verse, verses 1 to, to 3. Uh, this is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God, made he, made he him. To male and female, created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam. He called both of them Adam, because Eve was in Adam. He called them Adam. In the day when they were created, verse 3, and Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. So God made them in his likeness, in his likeness, in his image. But when I, um, later, now we're reading in Genesis chapter 5, verse 3, and Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness. After his image and called his name set. So not in the image of God. Not in the likeness of God. But in his own image. Adam begat a son. That is, he, 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 a son was born. He, he, he had a son. But this son he had in his own image. His own likeness. Not that one of God anymore. But of he himself. Why? Of he himself. And then uh, of he himself. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I want to go back then to, to, um, to uh, then uh, Adam had a son, and then in his own likeness, in his own image, there was a something. Why did Adam had a, uh, have a son, his own likeness, his image, after 130 years? After he has lived 130 years, he begat, uh, he got a son. He had a son. After he lived 130 years, he had a son. Um, his own image and his own likeness. So I want to I want us to go to then now the Lord is becoming the, the praise of his glory. Now Adam made a, had a son in his own image and in his own likeness, in his own glory. Not in the one of God, but in that of in the glory of Adam. The Adam being the first, our first father, Eve being our first mother, we are we all, all humanity derived from. So we are carrying, all of us are carrying the image, the likeness of Adam and the image of Adam. And now in this New Testament, the Lord, according to Ephesians chapter 1, right, chapter 1 verses, uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verses 12, now it's a different, uh, a different, uh, 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 what God is calling us uh, to become, uh, to become. It's a, uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 1, chapter 1 verses, uh, verse 12, and then that we should be to the praise of his glory. Who first trusted in God? He said which, that we should be to the praise of his glory. We, our being here, there was a why the God said we should be to the praise of his glory. So that's why my title is Becoming the Praise of His Glory. Becoming the praise of the, his glory. Not the praise of the glory of Adam. Adam, in the praise of uh, glory of Adam, that is the likeness of Adam, uh, the image of Adam. No, but becoming the praise of, of the glory of God. So why that, uh, that? I want to go, I want us to go to um, uh, uh, Psalms uh, 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 chapter 139, 139. The thought of God be, before we came, before that was the thought of God, before Adam, before Adam was made. The thought of God, that's Psalm 100 and, um, 100 and, uh, 139 139 um, Psalm 139 The Lord said 139 verses um, Oh, I didn't put the verse Okay, it's a mistake 139 verse um, uh, Verse 14 139 verse 14 uh, The Bible says there It says, I will praise thee, I will praise thee For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, 
and that my, that my soul know it right well. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, that my soul know it right well. You say, now it's, uh, the, uh, it's uh, King David writing that wrote this psalm. He say he will praise the Lord because he's fearfully and wonderfully made. He knows, and his soul know it that quite, quite well. That was the plan of God, original plan of God. Because when we later in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 5, he says, Adam, when Adam started having children after Cain and Abel, he said, in him, he, he said a, a, cha, a son, he begat a son in his likeness and in his image of whose children we are. But here, uh, uh, um, um, King David, who was so had a very close work with God, a deep work with God, this is what he captured in the spirit. He said, he said, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. What does fearfully and wonderfully made? This I was trying to, it's the Holy Spirit that gave me this, uh, that led me to this words I use for, for example. He said, uh, delicately made. Something we are delicately, something we are taking time to, to be, uh, we are, when we, are, we were made, we are, it's been delicate. Something that was delicately made, something so precious, so, so precious. Delicately made, precisely made. Every one of us is uh, is um, is, pre is precious before God. That is why we, we don't have the same DNA. We don't have the same. No matter even uh, uh, um, identical twins, they still have different DNA. Even our finger, our finger prints are not the same. We can be of this of same mother, bloodly bloodline, the same father, the same mother. Even with our mother, we still have a different uh, fingerprint. That is being precious. Preciously made. We are precious. We are precisely made. That is what it means to be uh, wonderfully and fearfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made is so to be precisely made. Preciously made. Something that is uh, what? That is why like God, uh, we are so, uh, even that uh, 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 it was also um, King David, when they had a deep war with God, he said, he said, an angel asked, What is man that uh, thou art mindful of him? What is man? That thou art mindful of him. God made us in his, in his, uh, the, the plan God made us at the beginning in his image. He said we are fearfully and wonderfully made. But later we, become, we became the image of, uh, we became the likeness and image of Adam. I'm going to go why. When God first formed man, it was in his image, in his likeness and his image. Made he him. That is, and then this is where this delicately made precisely made, preciously made, gloriously made in the glory of God. It is the meaning, this is the meaning of, uh, is the meaning of uh, fearfully and wonderfully made. This is who we are in Christ. This is who we are as a human being. It doesn't matter your, your, where you come from. This is who you are. That is why no matter what you go in life, what you go through, whatever, I, I want you to be, if you're born again child of God, I want you to be confident in whom God, not in your own self, in whom God had made you. Thank God for it. You are no one. You are, you are, you are um, uniquely, uniquely made. No one on this earth is like you. There is something about you that's so special. God has placed inside of you that no one, I cannot accomplish it. Like what I'm doing here, you cannot do like I'm speaking, like I'm doing. This is my own, my own, del my own delicacy, my own, the, pre the, pre the precise, is that the, uh, um, the, 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 the preciseness of my own making, my own forming. That is the preciousness the Lord has made in me. The, the glorious, the glory God has put in me. That is what I'm speaking. You cannot be like, you don't have, you cannot have my fingerprint. I cannot have yours. So that is why I'm telling you, no matter if you're born again, child of God, you are wonderfully, you are preciously, you are precisely, you are gloriously made. That's what it means to be fearfully and wonderfully made. If you're in Christ Jesus. I want you, don't waver, no matter what people call you, no matter how you are feeling. I want you to have this assurance. These words are describing you. That's what God had in mind. When God, why? Because when God created you, he breathed the breath of life into you. You are a carrier of the, of the, of the, a carrier of the, the life of God is inside of you. The soul, that breath, the spirit is inside of you. When he breathed into man, into Adam. He became a living soul. That life that made Adam a living soul is inside you. Even now, that, that is why I'm saying this to believers. Because now you've been regenerated. 
Don't th look down on yourself. Don't think that maybe, oh, this and that. No, you are fearfully, you are wonderfully, preciously, precisely, gloriously made. You are delicately, uniquely made. Okay. That is uh, that. Because we say we are to becoming the praise of his glory. You know, when you are sure of this, you are of sure who you are as a child of God, as a born again child of God, there are things you will, Satan will bring to you. You will say, you, you, you don't even, you will not give him attention. So, uh, as we go, I want to go to, again, to Jeremiah uh, chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1. There's an individual again, the Lord spoke to precisely. Jeremiah chapter, chapter 1, verses uh, 5. Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 5. And that is, uh, and then Jeremiah chapter 1, Verse 4 to 5. And then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, that's Jeremiah. God went to, he was, God told him to go and prophesy. He was 13 years of age. Uh, he, was a, he was a child. The Lord tried to uh, encourage him, to tell him who he is. He said, uh, verse 5. That Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou camest forth, out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto thee nations this is it's like what i said before this jeremiah was sanctified to be a prophet unto nations he said before god put him in the womb of his mother god knew what to put the substance god put even this this word the substance is also in in the book of psalms chapter chapter 139 he said the substance god knew he created who you know he knows what they are putting there that is why they want to put in a very delicate you are delicately you are preciously you are precisely you are gloriously made if you're born again child of god and i'm going to say why if you're not born again that's what i say you need to be born again because if you're not born again you are carrying the likeness and the image of adam you are still carrying it okay um that is some uh some one 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 thirty nine one thirty nine he said uh well, verse, verse 15 my substance was not hid from thee when i was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest part of uh, of the earth thy eyes did see my substance yet being unperfect and in thy in thy book all my members were written which in um, in continu in continuance were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. It's, called, it's uh, here, uh, um, uh, uh, King David, here, speaking of what, uh, that's what he captured, because he had a deep intimacy with God. This is what he received spiritually. He had. And he's here, I know, confessing it. And then here, if you go to verse 13, uh, or Psalm 113 over 13 he said for thou hast possessed my reins thou hast covered me in my mother's womb and I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made so this is what I'm telling you are precisely you are delicately precisely preciously gloriously uniquely made if you're in Christ Jesus so I want us to uh, yeah and this what this like I said before they have there no one has the same fingerprint like you that is why you are all this i mentioned if you're in christ jesus and this is why the lord too tried to win a uh, uh, prophet Je jeremiah even though it was old testament was uh, talking at his child god said no before i know what i put in you the substance i Im 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 put in imputed in you you are in a, a, um, a prophet or then to nations that's who you are who i have sanctified you and i made you a prophet to nations so there is something uniquely unique God has put inside you. That's what I'm telling you. If you're born again, just thank God. Don't be, be, be thankful to God for whom God had made you to be and who you are if you're in Christ Jesus Christ. Don't waver. No matter what people say about you, if just thank God for who, who has made you to be. No matter what you've gone through in life, thank, be thanking the Lord for who he has made you. You are delicately, you are uh, precisely you are preciously gloriously uniquely made that is who you are in Christ so because and uh, now I'm going to go now uh, I want to go to book of um, uh, um, 
uh, now I want to talk about uh, uh, the book of who came, why, the, when the Lord Jesus Christ came. Uh, Colossians chapter chapter one verse fifteen. Uh, verse fifteen. Colossians chapter one verse fifteen. Colossians chapter one verse fifteen. Colossians chapter 1 verse 15 say, Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? He said that. Let me go, let me go back again a little bit to see who is this? That is, let me go from verse 13. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness, had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins? Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? So Jesus is the invisible image of God. God who did not, who cannot see. God is a spirit. God who cannot see. So the Lord Jesus, when he came, he came as a God who cannot see. Who was the invisible image made manifest. He said the invisible image of God. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. 17. For and he is before all things, and, and by him all things consist. 18. I want to I want to go to concerning the glory. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in in all things he might have the preeminence. 19 is the, the emphasis. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Having all fullness dwell. He said, it pleased the Father that in, in the Lord Jesus Christ, all fullness should dwell. All fullness should dwell in Christ Jesus Christ. So, when the, that is the invisible image of God. The invisible image of God made manifest the Lord Jesus Christ. God wanted to review what it's all about, who he is. That is the original plan of God when God created Adam in his likeness, in his image. To become, it's a, it's a becoming, it's a continuous, continuous uh, 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 work. But now I'm going to break it down little by little. So now, uh, I'm not going to make this video to be too long. Mm, yeah. The inv invisible image of God. Um, I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to make a second video concerning this to the continuation. And I pray the Lord Jesus Christ who has made you, who, who has saved you from the power of sin, brought you into his own marvelous light. He has delivered you from the power of darkness. The darkness that was upon every family, every, especially those who come from the uh, um, uh, idolatry background of uh, uh, idol worship, you know, even though they are not worshiping, but those things are, they are dormant, they are well, they are alive. <laughs> you might think they're not, they are alive. So God who has, who has made you, brought you into his marvelous light, his kingdom, he is able, what you are going, whatever you're going through, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is powerful. It's an antidote against anything that is not of God. I want you to know who you are. I just I want the, I made that for foundation for you to know who you are in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I say. If you're born again, you are preciously, you are delicately, precisely, uh, 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 precisely, preciously, uh, gloriously, uniquely made. Who? Because who the image of God, the Lord Jesus Christ had the fullness of the image of God, the invisible God. Since now you are in him, you are part of it. Whatever you are going through, I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ, the, the mercy in the blood of Jesus will break. Whatever power is holding you back from coming into the fulfillment. Is this ancestral yoke? Is it uh, uh, um, idol worship? Because uh, there's a lot of uh, occultism going on. A lot of young people, people go into occultism uh, ignorantly through yoga. When you go in the posture of yoga, you open your soul to the to demonic world. When that posture of yoga is like a, as a Christian who wants to kneel down to pray, a Christian kneeling in the form of a kneeling down, it's humility before God. That's how the angels, how God demands to be worshipped, that he can come in. So I pray that the yoke, if anywhere you've opened your soul up for this evil to creep into you, that the blood of Jesus break that yoke in the name of Jesus. Any power, is it the life, your lifestyle lived before you were involved in witchcraft? Through there's a if, um, there's a, um, 
there's um, a game I saw a few days ago on, uh, on the internet. They call it, uh, I don't want to call the name, it's a game, Diabolo. I, when I saw it, I screamed, how anyone going into playing this game? It's just, it's like an invasion of darkness into your soul, into your home. And I pray, and a lot of people are in mental homes as a result. And I pray, if you have involved yourself in some games, or this Harry Potter now that is on, now as a serial, Satan is, is issuing out, and dishing out his evil in order to cage the souls of men. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power, any, any power of witchcraft, the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of darkness. So by the authority in the name of Jesus, let the works of darkness, the authority of darkness over your soul, be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I speak healing into your soul. I speak healing, divine healing into your soul. Is it cancer? I command that cancer, the fire of God, to burn off that cancer in the name of Jesus. Let your cell, the blood of Jesus, the healing power of God, flow through your cells in the name of Jesus. Let the healing power of God flow through your cells. Bring healing. Bring total. Bring, let there be restoration in your, in your cells in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus destroy the works of darkness. Any, if you have rebelled, I pray, anywhere you have pulled, the, pulled down the hedge of God, a serpent is biting or has beaten you and you don't know. Father, I, I plead for mercy on behalf of whoever this person. I plead for mercy. Let the mercy in the blood of Jesus cleanse this person. Bind this person back. Lord, let your mercy in the blood wash this person in the name of Jesus. As they cry out to you for mercy, as they cry out to you in repentance, Lord, that the blood of Jesus Jesus Christ will cleanse them and restore them and the hedge that was broken will be built back again in Jesus name I pray the mercy of God overshadow you the grace of God the mercy that is in blood of Jesus Christ saturate your life saturate you saturate you the mercy that is in blood speak deliverance and healing in the mighty name of Jesus as we go through this area uh, the Lord will do marvelously marvelously the Lord wants us to be, become his glory whatever is hindering you from becoming into that form, that image of the glory of God. Let that power be broken over your soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you standing by his power. See you next time. This is the becoming the glory, becoming the praise of his glory. Um, um, part one. The Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.